Welcome to this Unwind class. If it's your first time on this channel, thank you so much for clicking. My name is Helen, and if you do enjoy this practice, make sure you hit subscribe and the little like button as well. So today is gonna to be a short little sequence just to help us wind down for the day, release any physical and mental tension that may have gathered through your day. You are gonna need a bolster, but you could use a couple of pillows from your bed. That works great. So go grab a couple of pillows from your bed and you can just stack them on top of one another. And that will be a perfectly good bolster. If you are looking to buy one though, I have a 10% off discount code for Ecotech, which is this brand. They do amazing, sustainable and ethically made yoga props. I'll leave a link to it down below. I've had this one for nearly four or five years. You can wash the cover and it's absolutely perfect. It's held its shape. Um, I highly, highly recommend. Okay, so let's get into the class. Just leave that to the top edge of your mat. We're going to bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees butterfly out. If this feels too much, feel free to pop your pillows underneath your knees or just slide your feet a little bit further away. Nice, relax your hands wherever feels most comfortable and now close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And a big sigh. Good, deep breath in right down to your tailbone. And a big sigh. Just allowing your body to settle here. Letting go of any outside distractions or sounds. And beginning to turn your attention inwards towards yourself. So just noticing if we are holding on to any stress from the day physically in the body. And with each exhale, see if we can loosen our grip, even fully release and let it go. And you're welcome to keep the eyes closed here. We're gonna slide our hands onto our ankles and take a little flowing motion. So as you inhale, leaning forwards, and as you exhale, leaning back. Inhaling forwards, exhaling back. So our demo from the side, it's almost like a seated cat-cow. And you can exaggerate this as much or as little as you please. your eyes, let go of any overthinking about it, breathe and move. Good, next time you inhale I want you to sit up really tall, bring your hands behind, fingertips pointing back and then inhale proudly lift your chest. Good, deep breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna bring one hand all the way over to the outside of one knee. See if you can find a little twist here. Breathe into where you feel that stretch today. Wonderful, bring that hand back, breathe in. And then on the exhale, bring it across, looking behind. Wonderful, deep breath in, exhale, release. Take one more breath here just to open up through your chest. And then as you exhale, slowly close up the knees, roll over your feet, find an all fours position, spread your fingers nice and wide. Tuck your toes, find a downward dog, but keep your knees a little bit bent here so it's a little more soft. And just ease into the back of the legs. Good. 
wonderful, good. From here, bringing your feet hip width or maybe a bit wider, you're gonna bend your knees a lot and then pad your hands all the way back to your feet. Now bend your knees a lot, grab opposite elbows and just allow yourself to hang. You take a little rock side to side. Shifting the weight forwards and back in the feet. From here, you're welcome to stay here or maybe some of us would like to interlace our fingers behind our back and then just let that fist fall overhead, opening up through the chest and the shoulders a little bit more. Let your head be heavy. Good, and then let's all bring our fingertips down towards the mat. Bend the knees as much as you need to, or you can grab some blocks. And then we're just gonna take a little pedal through the feet here. So bend into one knee deeply as you straighten the other, and then opposite side. So just do that in the most gentle and loving way. And if you struggle to reach the floor, please use your bolster or blocks. Bring the floor to you. Come to a neutral place, turn your toes out to the side, bend the knees, and then we're gonna go into a deep squat here. So releasing any tension through your hips and through that lower back. See if you can really relax your glutes, soften around your lower back. Keep your hands on the floor and just take a little rock side to side doesn't need to be very big, just enough for you to release any tension through that lower spine. Nice, we're gonna take a really gentle meditative flow here. So once you've got the flow, you can just close your eyes, breathe and move. Otherwise, we're gonna come forwards, come to all fours. Bring your big toes together, then settle into a child's pose. So this is gonna be our starting shape. So on your in-breath, you're gonna round forwards to a cat, rounding the back, and as you exhale, lower down to your tummy. Inhale to lift the chest, any amount that feels good. Exhale, lower, and come back to child's pose. So that's one round. When your in-breath comes, all fours, round the back. Out breath, we surrender down. Inhale, we lift the chest. Exhale, we lower and come back to child's pose. So in your own time, inhaling. Full exhale as you surrender down. Inhale to lift. Exhale, lower arm back to child's pose. So see if you can make this a continuous flow so there's no beginning or end to each pose. They all kind of melt into one. Good, take one more round in your own time and then we'll meet in a child's pose. Focus on your breathing. Focus on how it feels. And then eventually we'll all meet back in a child's pose here. Very nice, good. From here, walking your hands back towards you, coming to a kneeling position. We're gonna come into a forward fold here. So taking your legs out, wide, as wide as is comfortable. So if it feels too much to have them really wide, just notice that you're straining too much, be easy on yourself. Sit on a pillow or two if you wish. Hands onto your knees and then just begin to take some circles here. Just lightly easing into those hips. circle the opposite way. As you get a little more at ease with it, you might find you can lean into the circles a little bit more. 
giving you a little more intensity if you want. Good, and then inhale to sit nice and tall. And then as you exhale, just begin to lean forward. So maybe your hands rest in front. You might get to your forearms. You might want your pillows or your bolster to relax onto in whatever way works for you. Relax your feet, relax your toes, and just lean into that. Let go of unnecessary tension. Let go of anything other than the present moment. So if your mind starts to wander off, maybe start to be a little judgmental about the pose. Notice, breathe and release it. As you get more comfortable, you might find that you wanna go a bit deeper, you can either lose the prop or come a little bit lower on the prop. Wonderful, deep breath in, send it right back to your tailbone. Nice big sigh. Whew. Wonderful. Slowly coming all the way back up. Bring your hands behind and then bring the soles of the feet on the mat there. Good. Take a little loving rock from side to side. Wonderful. We're going to take a really nice gentle twist and it's nice um, to stretch out our side lower back. So this is where you're going to want your pillows or your bolster to one side. So stack your pillows one on top of the one another. And then you're going to find deer's leg. So your foot is going to be by your knee here. And this side of the hip is going to be butt right up against your pillows or your bolster. Lovely. Breathe in. As you exhale, turn towards your bolster. And then you're just going to fold over. So you might find you just want to rest your forehead down. You might want to turn your head one way or the other. Get comfy and you're going to feel a stretch in this kind of area. It's quite subtle. Support your head. Close your eyes and just allow yourself to release. slowly coming all the way back up take your time you're going to take your bolster over to the opposite side turn your legs the opposite way so have that bolster right up against your hip take a breath turn and then lower down get comfy you might want to turn your head the opposite way or maybe just rest your head straight down Release your legs, release any gripping through your hips, your stomach area. Settle into stillness. Relax your fingers and toes. There is nothing that needs to be held on to. Slowly coming all the way back up. We're going to set up for our final pose here, uh, which I'm going to leave you in today to relax. So you're going to have your pillows long ways, just like this. You might want a third pillow, actually like a smaller one, which I'm going to 
let's grab from over here, for your head. So for this one, you're gonna butt the bolsters or your pillow right up to that lower back. So you really wanna feel it against your lower back and then you're gonna allow yourself to lie back over it and you just might want that extra one for your head. Just takes out some intensity through the upper spine. Now options, you can bring the soles of the feet together, let the knees butterfly out. You can have your feet on the mat, letting your knees drop in, or you can have your legs straight. Absolutely your choice, all of the options. Close your eyes wherever you are. Take a deep breath in. And a big sigh. Allowing your body to sink into the floor. Allowing your body to be fully supported. And with each exhale, allowing this body to fully relax. Allowing your attention to rest onto your breathing. Just watching that natural ebb and flow of the breath. The rise and the fall of the chest and the belly. Settling here for just five minutes out of your day. Thank you so, so much for joining me for this practice. I really hope you enjoyed it and hopefully see you on another practice soon.